Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the video continuation of access press route that is of home page setting. So previously in our video I have shown you how you can uh, configure this testimonial uh, slider section, feature block section and this latest post. So now in this video I'm going to show you how you can configure this call to action section, service block and um, text slider. So let's begin our configuration by logging into your WordPress. Now go to appearance and then click on theme option. Now here you can see text slider. Let's click on it. So for this you need to create some post and uh, select uh, and create some post and uh, make a category. So to do that Let's create some post. Here, enter the text. So I'll get my dummy content. Well, you can put your own. Well, here, if you want. The text to look like in our demo site that is with a certain color text then you can do is put the small code that is span and uh, close it add a category Then publish it and let's again add one more post let's put the code here this time it's totally up to you if you want it now check the uh, category you created and publish it now in this way, go back to your theme option and on your text slider, select the category. Let us refresh this page. Now select the category you created for text slider and save your option. Now let's go to the front end of the website and see how that appears. This is the front end. And as you can see, the text slider is just below the testimonial slider. And uh, we had kept small code that is span. So this is covered with the theme color that is blue. Let us see the another text as you can see here. So in this way, you can configure your text slider. Now the next block that you can uh, configure is service block. Click on it. Now here you can put the service title, the service description. Then for the service block, you need to make um, pages. As I have already made uh, pages, I'll just select it. Or I can show you how it is made by creating one more. I have made it made three pages that is service one, two, and three. So let us create one more page. Put your content there. I'm gonna put my dummy content. Then set a feature image. You can get it from the media library or can upload a file. Now set it as a feature image and publish it. Now go back to the theme option and go to service block. Now 
and select the page you created to show in the service block. And save your option. Now go back to the front end of the website and see how the service block appears. As you can see, this is the service block with the title, description, and the post that you uh, sorry, the pages that you created. So in this way, you can configure text slider and service blocks. So now it's time to configure call to action section. So click on it. For this, you need to enter the title. Enter the description. You can put the button text. Then keep a link. So you copy the URL and paste it there and save your options. Now let's go to the front page and see how this call to action appears. Now this is the call to action section with the title, description and a button to take uh, the website viewer to a certain address. So in this way, you can uh, set your text slider, your service block and your call to action section. So I hope this video is helpful to you in configuring some of the sections of the homepage uh, with the help of Access Press Root. Thank you very much for watching this video and if you have any confusion regarding this video, you can always uh, leave me a comment below and I'll be happy to reply to you as soon as possible. Thank you very much.